Everything's off the wall, all the switch outlets, covers, everything's off the wall except for a couple signs, speaker bar still, just because I'm listening to music. Door frame, breaker box taped off. Got all my lights in for the uh, electrician to show up sometime soon. So we'll have 16 foot, three rows of 16 foot, five and a half K, pretty much daylight lighting here, one in the middle and one towards the back, and then two separate four foot, five and a half K lights, one over where the Pontiac and the old sign are for the toolbox that I just picked up. And then another one over here for workbench and projects I'll be working on hopefully soon. I also finally received my 46 inch wide Milwaukee box. I opted not to put the uh, casters on it just because once it gets set over here in this corner, it'll most likely never move. Um, so I'm gonna leave my 30 inch hutch on top. It'll leave me plenty of space for the OC fab holder. Still will clear the speaker bar. Give me plenty of space for the light switch and the garage door switch. And uh, I'll use this area over here. I have a little wireless charger pad that when I walk out here and start working on something or need to grab something for a project, I can just throw my phone right on it and go. But tomorrow, hopefully everything in here will be a, a nice medium light charcoal. And by the end of the evening, hopefully it'll start looking like a dealership room or my own little personal showroom. Most of the painting is now done. I need to touch up all the edges and the corners and stuff. I didn't have an edger with me, so I just kind of had to make do with what I had at the moment. I got a little on the ceiling, but it all worked out. It looks a little blue in here, just due to the 6500K lighting, but the final coats in the corners, except for the touch up is drying, uh, and everything looks pretty good. garage is officially done. Everything got painted in bare flannel gray. Just got it from Home Depot and a couple rollers. For one coat, it's by no means a perfect paint job, but it definitely is a much welcomed improvement over the old awful streaks on the wall. And unfortunately, some of the spackling didn't set quite right. Tried to re-sand it and re-spackle, uh, you know, give it time to set, but some of it didn't work. So I got to let it cure a little bit more over here on this wall behind the car and redo that but everything got mounted back on the walls pretty quick so the quick jack pump I ended up relocating the temperature sensor it's now tucked underneath you can see that on that little bracket for the shelf but everything got uh, pretty much cleaned up I took a lot of the banners a lot of the flags off the wall I do still want to find a, a nice clean looking way to put the Australian and the American flag up on the wall in the correct orientations and not have them flap. Thinking about getting some clear Lexan big sheets of it um, and finding an appropriate sized flag for you know what Lexan I can find available and mounting them over here on this wall nice and flush against it so they're completely flat. Nothing flaps in the wind whenever there's a breeze rolling through and I got the door open. But everything came out exactly how I wanted it to. All the shelving came together exactly how I planned. All the detailing stuff. The toolbox fits like a damn glove. I had 46.2 inches from the wall to the door frame. And this actual Milwaukee box is 46 inches wide. Exactly. I had a lot of people give me shit for not putting casters on it, but frankly, this toolbox will probably never move again unless I move. Um, and I'm just going to end up leaving this handle here. It'll be a good place for me to throw shop towels and shop rags for when I'm working on something if my hands are greasy or dirty. So that worked out pretty much exactly how I was hoping it to. Oh, and yeah, I got the GTO Hot Wheels. But we also got the lighting wrapped up today. This is all Barina 5.5K V-shaped clear LEDs. We did three rows of eight foot linked together, two and two and two. So there's 16 foot, 16 foot, and 16 foot. There's another separate four foot, same coloring, same series light, 
which is shorter over the toolbox and it like I mean it just the light dispersion on these things is nuts but we ran into an issue uh, just due to the furnace vent that we couldn't actually get the one over the workbench to turn on with the junction box we wired into the the circuitry so we're gonna I'm gonna end up getting some channeling and a white extension cord for it to match I'm gonna paint the channeling and I'll just have to flip this one on by a switch but that's not that big of a deal really not a heart you know not heartbroken over it still got to build a little wooden hutch for the lawnmower I'll keep that outside so that way it's not in here in my space I need to get a little outdoor cabinet too to store uh, the insect spray for if I ever need it, you know, the brooms and stuff like that, cleaning supplies for the floor in here. I don't want that stuff sitting around in case it gets knocked over by some means and hits the car. Unfortunately, GTO actually saw its first rain in quite a while. Um, we had a pretty good sized storm roll through and I only had to pull it out later on this evening just due to, you know, we had to get up there and mount the lights to the ceiling on the bracketry. But everything turned out exactly how I wanted it to. I mean, uh, this has been a dream of mine for a couple years, and you know, I rented a house in the sister town attached to this town, and you know, landlord said no, so I ended up scraping some money together and saving for a while, and now I am my own landlord. So I'm, uh, I'm just very pleased with it. It's getting closer to looking like the showroom I want it to. I think the next step will be. Fixing the baseboard over here, painting that obviously to match, um, trying to respackle some other stuff and get it to sand down nice and smooth. And then either doing Swiss tracks or um, doing like a lighter colored epoxy with dark, pretty dark chips in it. And then that'll, that'll pretty much be it. That probably won't be for a while. Um, I finally ordered the replacement weld for the GTO since the area of town I used to live in, they had truly terrible roads. Um, and I destroyed one of my front welds. It, uh, it has ceased to be round. So now it's kind of an oblong shape, but you know, I threw the VMRs back on. I don't think it looks bad, but I like matched wheels. So I ordered a new weld that should be here in about a month. So I'll be back on a full drag pack for my street setup. Still haven't done anything with the other TCCWs, but I'll get to that sometime whenever I feel like it or remember to. But just the lighting in here is nuts. It's so much better than it used to be. And the last thing I've got to do is for when the door is open, I found a company online called Garage Door Lighting. And they actually make a contactless system you mount on the rails. It's pretty trick. It's got a, whenever the door's all the way open, the lights automatically come on. And you run wiring across, plugs into the secondary, or the second uh, plug on your outlet. Whenever the door's open, uh, it'll really really look like a showroom in here when I pull a car in or out So I'm gonna see if I can find five and a half K LEDs that will go with that because right now they only have uh, six 6500 and That's a little too blue of a light for me But I guess in all due time. I'm just I mean awestruck. This has again been a dream of mine for quite a while and it's Just very very pleased with the outcome of it